Welcome to the Prayer for All Nations. This is simply a video I've put together where I'd like to pray for anyone within the sound of my voice. All I ask you to do is to agree with me as we seek our Heavenly Father together. Please continue to meditate on this prayer for yourself, speak it daily, or listen to this video over and over again, and allow the Word of God concerning all nations to reach deep into your spirit. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we gather together here online and come into agreement in the wonderful and powerful name of Jesus. Where two or more are gathered, there you shall surely be, and anything we agree upon as touching you will surely do. The Bible says that if there's any unforgiveness, that it should be dealt with before praying. Therefore, we release any anger, bad feelings, resentment, or any other wrong attitude before you now. We lay it at your feet, and we release and forgive those who have wronged us. I lift up those watching this video, and we come into agreement and lift up all nations, and particularly the nation or nations that is on the heart of the listener to this prayer. Lord, we lift up not only the nations, but the leadership. We ask for wisdom and knowledge to flow in the lives of the leadership of the nations in Jesus' name. Give the leaders discretion and understanding so that those who are right in your sight would be preserved from evil in Jesus' name. And on that thought, together we ask that the upright shall dwell in the government or governments of the nations on the listener's heart, that men and women of integrity, blameless and complete in your sight, would remain, but that the evil and wicked shall be cut off and the treacherous shall be rooted out in Jesus' name. Give those in authority power to remove the wicked from among them. Preserve and watch over those in authority who are pleasing to you. May their offices and positions be upheld by the people's love and loyalty. Father, we confess and believe that the decisions made by the leaders are divinely directed by you, and their mouths shall not transgress in judgment. As a result, the leaders of the nations we are praying for are men and women of discernment, understanding, and knowledge, so the stability of the nations will continue strongly. We pray that the uncompromisingly righteous be in authority in those nations so that the people there can live in peace. We pray that their offices be established and made secure by righteousness and that they have right and just lips. We pray and believe that the gospel is published in these nations in Jesus' name. We thank you for laborers of the harvest to declare your word that Jesus is Lord in the nations. We ask that more and more intercessors be called and raised up to pray for the nations. In Jesus' name we pray now and believe we receive it. Amen.